Things for the NFL. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft is moments away from speaking to reporters. And of course, this comes just after you reported that he met with Roger Goodell and they huddled up on a couch on Saturday night and had a, apparently a pretty in-depth talk about who knows what. Do you guys have any sense of what Robert Kraft may be talking about here? Oh, well, I think that's an indication of where Robert Kraft and Roger Goodell are at this time. I think that they shared their feelings with each other Saturday night. Think about this. The last time we actually heard Robert Kraft speak publicly was at the Super Bowl when the Patriots landed there in that extraordinary, defiant ink is, is, will, will kind of uh, hopefully answer some questions. And he said at that time, unless the NFL can definitively, and that was the key word, definitively prove that they'll go back to this Saturday night little on the couch get together, a source telling you that Robert Kraft and Roger Goodell had at a birthday party for a mutual friend. Could there have been a conversation, perhaps this isn't good for the league to have this ongoing situation? And was there perhaps a move by Kraft verbally to send that message to Roger Goodell? I'm sure they covered a number of issues. I'm sure fine, and the two draft picks that were fine against his organization. He could speak out against the Tom Brady four-game suspension, but it's up to Tom Brady and the NFLPA to appeal that. You know, oh, people, that's go ahead, right. Mark. Go ahead, Linda. No, I, you, you go. Well, no, and that's the thing. There, there is a Tom Brady component, obviously, big component, and then there's the, the pick. Actively are very silent since the Brady suspension went down. I would say if I've talked to eight players, seven were non core was in 243 pages of a written report. Again, we're standing by <laughs> waiting for uh, Robert Kraft's news conference from the spring owners meetings in San Francisco. Should be fascinating what they, and then we had read reports that it was done. I mean, th this thing was over, and now they're meeting on a couch Saturday night. So well, it wasn't like it was planned that they were going to meet on that couch. Right. They were both at this birthday party. Somebody they're extended an there. olive branch, and they started to talk. They started talking. They sat on the couch. They talked. There's enough for the two of them. Accepting the NFL's punishments, two draft picks they forfeit, and $1 million in fines. Again, separate from the Tom Brady four-game yes. yep. suspension. Uh, we're here with Adam Schefter and Chris Mortensen, Linda Cohn, David Lloyd. Interesting, he said he had two options. He could continue this rhetoric and appeal or end it and just move on. What were your observations, Adam, of what Robert Kraft said moments ago? Well, two things stood out to me. Number one, he said, had he made his decision yeah. last, last week, week, I think he would have gone ahead and appealed the league's decision. He was angry last week, and maybe, maybe he's calmed down. Maybe it's what Roger Goodell spoke with him about on Saturday evening, but he's obviously changed his mind again i think it goes to their tone that was one thing and the other thing they said is i reluctantly reluctantly so we will still be talking so about we will still so, yes. so we'll so, 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 no you, question about we'll it. talk let about me, that instead of the eastern conference yes. finals let me ask you something i thought it was interesting robert Kraft pointing out there are two f issues here two polarizing places fans of the patriots unconditional love yeah and then everybody that can't stand the patriots okay so here's what I want to know. How does this make Roger Goodell look? Is this a big yeah. plus in his corner now? You know, this is like a, that Robert Kraft has walked away and choose made by the commissioner on this. Big, yeah. big, real quickly, big picture with the Patriots now. Robert Kraft has decided he's going to accept these punishments. You add Deflate Gate now to Spy Gate, and basically the Patriots have accepted both of those punishments. What does that mean for, for this this unbelievable run on the football field in, in this franchise? Well, I think it's obviously, I think that these issues will always hang over them. And there will be the people that dislike the Patriots. That Time does have a tendency to do some healing. So Robert Kraft chooses to end it instead of extend it and looking big picture for the NFL as opposed to his team, the New England Patriots. Adam Schefter, Chris Moltenson, thanks. Coming up, we talk draft lottery.